In this video, I'll be making tea using my Christmas tree. I was flicking through this book recently and came across a simple recipe for pine needle tea. I had never heard about pine needle tea before, so I did a bit of my own research and discovered that many evergreen trees, such as pine, spruce and fir, have edible properties. As it's currently December and we have our Christmas tree up, I thought now would be the perfect time to give this recipe a go. I've done a little bit of research and apparently evergreen needle teas are rich in vitamins and ideal for boosting immunity and warding off winter colds. I've also read some claims that the tea can help soothe sore throats and relieve congestion. So let's collect some needles. But first, a word or two of caution. Before handling any wild edible, make sure to do your own research and reference multiple trusted sources. If you're not sure, leave it alone. You should also make sure that the tree you're using wasn't treated with any pesticides or other potentially dangerous chemicals. Many commercial trees are. As a precaution, do not drink evergreen needle tea if you are pregnant. Apparently, when it comes to choosing needles to use in the tea, the fresher the better. So I'm going to look for some bright green needles I can pluck without ruining the overall appearance of our tree. So now we have our needles, which I have just given a good rinse in warm water to hopefully remove any potential house dust or chemical nasties. I have around 4 teaspoons worth here, which should be enough for 2 cups of tea. My next task is to bruise the needles slightly, so that they can release some of their flavour. Now that the needles have been bruised, I'm going to add some boiling water and leave them to infuse for around 10 minutes or so. The tea has now been infusing for around 10 minutes. I'm now going to strain it into a cup and have a taste. I am a little disappointed with the colour. I was hoping that it would take on a green tint, but it doesn't seem to have had any effect on the colour of the water. However, it does smell quite aromatic. Hopefully there's some flavour in there too. It tastes much nicer than I expected. It's like drinking a little bit of the scent of a Christmas tree. I think it could also be enjoyed with a squeeze of lemon or a drop of honey stirred through it. I may just consider filling a flask with this tea the next time we head out on a winter walk. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you do have a go at making your own Christmas tree tea, please do leave a comment and let me know how you got on. I hope you have a wonderful Christmas, bye for now.